Oh, there's a list that's out. Who knows if it's fake? I don't know. It could be a fake list. Who knows? But, but Chris Tucker's on that list. And they asked Chris Tucker on a podcast, what's up with you being on the list? He didn't do what Jimmy Kimmel said. Jimmy Kimmel said it's a fake list. I, who cares what that, what that list says? It's fake. Right. Chris Tucker goes, yeah, I did, I, I did go on that flight, but we went to Africa and I went with a bunch of diplomats. I didn't know who this fucking Epstein guy was. Like Chris Tucker says, like, I had no idea. We were on this plane. We were going to Africa, do yeah. some diplomatic shit, and turns out he's a pedophile. I didn't, I didn't know. Well, they definitely got people connected to him by using famous people. Yes. Yeah. So, like, no, my point was, my out, point was Chris Tucker basically confirmed it. confirmed that the list was like legit cuz he's mm -hmm. on it. Right. There was this dude that was inviting me to this conference once and he was like Kanye West is going to be there. I'm like, "Oh, Kanye West is going to be there." And next thing you know you're there, right? Yes. Yeah. If you don't know who's there and some dude this was just a conference, it was like a tech conference. They wanted to me to come and talk about like the influence of social media and podcasting and shit. I'm like, I talk about that all the time. I'm, what am I going to go with it? But point is, they were trying to lure me by saying that some famous dude the I know names. was going to be there. So if you hear like, oh my God, you know, Richard Dawkins is going to be there. You think it's safe? Yeah, all these famous people are going to be there. World leaders are going to be there. What was Stephen like, Hawkins doing that list so much? Stephen Hawkins was a freak. He used to go to strip clubs. Really? Yeah, because he could feel, but he couldn't move. You know who told me about that? Eric Weinstein. Eric to to Weinstein told me about that back in the day. He would go to like swingers clubs. And he would lay there, and they all dry rate on him. Just, Sick. Yeah, because it probably felt good, and yeah. he can't he can't move, but he could feel. He had Luke Gehrig's disease, so his body just Their dicks still get hard though. I bet. I mean, he's not stupid. He's smart as shit. He just can't move. It's crazy because <laughs> why? Like, to go to the effort to blackmail Stephen Hawking. Well, like, you know, how easy that would be. It's yeah. like you really, really want to. You really want to blackmail I don't think a that's dude. What they were doing. A he had a dude. bunch of handlers though. But you know what I'm saying? How easy the guy's in a wheelchair. He can't even yeah, move. Yeah, but you, you got to think put of him it in as, any situation. Right. And he, what is he gonna right. do? Say stop, stop. Like uh, we're gonna wheel you in. To, we're, you're on this island now. Like. Now you have to think of it in terms of a long picture. Like, what is the picture? If you have esteemed scientists, Nobel laureates, scholars, all these different world leaders, bankers, famous singers, famous actors, they're all there. So that's the, the way you get people to do it. You, you invite people to this immense, lavish celebration that with intellectual world leaders, geniuses. And you think, well, how could it be bad if all these geniuses are there? Yeah. And then next thing you know, you're doing yayo, and you got some girl from some Eastern Bloc country that's rubbing your kick, <laughs> and you don't know that she's 16, and she takes you in a room, and the room is filled with cameras. That's Blackmail. Yeah. yeah. And that's I think what it's all about. We're probably facing the effects of that right now. I bet there's decisions that were made, there's influence that got moved around, there's there's people that support a certain narrative because they were on that list. Wasn't, it has it, to wasn't be. that what I was saying all day today? Has to I, be. I think everything that's going on right now in the world is linked to Jeffrey Epstein. That's what I think. I think everything? I think everything. Man. Trump, Trump shit, everything? Everything. Everything? Who's UFOs? connected? Who, like, I don't know. Yeah. Well, you know, Paul yeah. Lewis, all, all of it. All well, of since it. Since I met you, we've discussed UFOs. UFOs have been around. They've been talking about them since Jesus left Chicago. Right. But the last three fucking years, everybody's seen fucking UFOs. Yeah. How about that Miami, Miami shit? Miami. Come on, oh, yeah. come on the, you, dog. You, the, 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 the people who lived coke for 40 years. Yeah. That's what you saw. You didn't see no fucking aliens. But that's what they're selling all over. Now people from the Navy. It's a distraction. All of a sudden, all these pilots. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I was going here, and oh, they were so driving fake. right next to me, yeah, waving it's at so me. so fake. Really? And now yeah. you decide to fucking tell yeah. me. Uh, this is what I think. This is what I think. Tell me. The, the, there's a lot of important people that were on that list, right? Right. A lot from all over uh, the world. Right. Politics. Hollywood, music. Music. Actors. The, you saw the list is out, dog. No ass right there. No Chris athletes. Tucker yep. pretty much said it was real. Yep. Um, not that everybody on the list did shit. Who knows? It would be easy to, like you said, drag. Like if in the nineties or in the two thousands, if I yeah. would, if people would have liked my music and I would have had a record deal, thank God nobody liked it. And somebody said, and somebody hey, said, hey let's, come go, to the island? let's go to an island, dog. There's a billionaire. He's got a bunch of bitches that we're gonna party. I think I would have went. Dog. <laughs> you know what I mean? Then you go. 
You go, right? And you're right? talking to a you scientist. Go, and then you're like, dude, people brought their kids? You're like, no, dude, those are the bitches. Like, oh, shit. No, I'd be on a fucking a minute, kayak, a dog. I'd be on a fucking kayak. Where's Miami, dog? How far is Florida? What do you think is the bitches? What do you think, these, what do you think these, this UFO <laughs> thing is? What do you think the UFO I thing is? I think, okay, no, 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 the point is, no, no, this is the point. Okay, this is the okay, point. Okay. My point is the people that are on the list would rather, like, if they had a choice, you want to go to jail for this shit as a pedophile, or would you rather have World War Three? Would you rather have fucking civil war? Would you rather have a fake alien invasion where every the you, the world changes like the whole world changes right away? Where would you go? Would you rather go to Guantanamo Bay? Would you rather go to prison or would you rather have World War Three Mad Max alien invasion? That's what I think World War Three would save them uh, a Alien invasion would save them and a civil war will save them. So they want all that shit, dog. Anarchy. They want all that. They want complete chaos so they don't go to jail. That's what I think. I don't like that the list only released 300 people. A lot more than 300 people on that fucking island. And I think they took the bottom half. Like Was there really 300 people on that list? I, I, don't, I don't know. know. I, that's what I don't I know the, if the, the <laughs> official list has been released, has yeah. it? Yeah. I, I, no. No, no. Who knows? Who knows? No, the, the list could be fake. No. The list could be fake. They're but, just releasing a list, but they're still covering up the fucking... But... Yeah. but but Chris Tucker, he basically said he didn't th deny it. He said, "Yeah, right." He, he said was just he saying, flew with Jeffrey Epstein to Africa, but he didn't say he went to the island. Exactly. I think the people that went to the island, that's where things get real weird. That's no, but you could go, you can go also, to the but, island and not know either. And he also like, like had a place in Manhattan. He was famous for having big parties at this house in Manhattan that he got from the, most the guy who owned Victoria's Secrets. The most expensive guy gave mansion. Him I gave him this seventy five million dollar mansion. There was, there was other guys that were like these big hedge fund guys that gave him like a hundred million. Gave it to him. And they can't track why. Yeah. Oh, Nobody like knows why he was so powerful. Money. He was, and, he did and then also job. Trump's Help on the list, but Trump was like, nah, we hitched a, a ride to Trump Tower. What you gotta look Atlantic into City. what you gotta look into is Ghislaine Maxwell yeah. was yeah. his partner, but Ghislaine Maxwell's Ghislaine. father or what what the fuck Ghislaine? <laughs> Ghislaine. 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 Look into her father, Robert Maxwell. Yeah. All the answers are right there. Because he was a spy, yeah? He comes up in this Tetris movie that came out recently, which is pretty interesting. Dude. The story what is it? Look, look into Jamie, her what? father. Hold on, what? There's Jamie? a movie on like Apple TV about like how Tetris was made. The game? It's, it's kind of a fun documentary, it's a really but good like movie. they cut to this guy that's running half of the shit, and it's Robert Maxwell. He's the, he's, that's who he is. He's this guy that controls all sorts of shit in, in England. He's the broker between these Russians and whoever the fuck controlled Tetris. It was very strange, but Look this is like the 80s. All right.